Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. Today's video is inspired by how to train your pony. I mean, dragon. We are going to be creating a custom toothless pony. I couldn't think of a pony more perfect to be transformed into a night fury than the night princess herself, Princess Luna. Let's get her all prepped and ready for the transformation. I love Luna's mane, so I hate having to cut it off, but we need to for our custom toothless pony. I cut off the bulk of her hair using some large scissors. Now I'm gonna go in with these teeny tiny nail scissors and cut the hair all the way down to the scalp. This step is really important because the shorter that the hair is, the easier it's gonna be to remove all of the roots and the glue that are stuck inside of the pony's head. I'm just using my tweezers and scraping the inside of the head until all of those hair roots just pop right out and then you can pull everything out with those same tweezers. Removing the tail is so much easier. All you need to do is remove the bulk of the tail by cutting it right off, and then you can push the rest of that tail into the pony's body with some tweezers or the end of a paintbrush. Now, this pony is a really large one, so it actually has a little washer inside, and you'll want to remove that or else your pony's gonna make a lot of noise when you play with it if it's left behind. My vision of a Night Fairy pony isn't a unicorn, so unfortunately we have to remove Princess Luna's unicorn very carefully using an X-Acto knife. I am making sure that I point the knife away from my body, and if you're not old enough to be using an X-Acto knife, make sure that you get a parent's help for this step. Removing the horn left a huge hole in the pony's head. Let's take some Sugru and fill that hole in. Sugru is an air dry rubber that I just personally prefer over air dry clay, but you could always use air dry clay for this step instead. And I accidentally put that Sugru directly inside of the hole, so let's retry this very carefully smoothing it out with my fingers along the edges to make a seamless transition between the pony and the Sugru. That looks so awesome. It made the forehead nice and round again. Let's take some more of that Sugru and fill in all of the holes that were left behind when we removed the pony's mane. Again, just pressing that down with my fingers and smoothing it out. Let's use the rest of the Sugru to give Toothless his signature features. Starting off with the horns on top of his head, I just put a lump of Sugru right there on top and I am smoothing out the edges very carefully and gently with my fingers so that way it just kind of blends in perfectly with that Sugru we put down earlier. And then I'm just going to shape those with my fingers while that Sugru is still wet and make them a little more blunt and short so that they look just like toothlesses. Let's press in some smaller pieces of Sugru for the little spikes that Toothless has right along his forehead. And then let's let that Sugru dry. And while it's drying, we can create the custom color for Toothless. I'm gonna be mixing solid black with a dark metallic gray. Ew, it's lumpy. Get out of there, there it goes. Combining these two colors should give us a beautiful, subtle black color with just a hint of shimmer. Let's mix this up, that is really pretty. Can you see that really subtle little shine in there? I love it. Let's take this color and completely cover our toothless pony with three coats. You might have noticed that I didn't use acetone to remove the eyes or any of the markings on the pony's body. That's because I knew that the color we were gonna be using today was gonna be really dark and it would cover up all of those details without a problem. Now, this is something completely new for me, a matte top coat. I usually like my ponies to be nice and shiny and glossy, but dragon skin is really rough and a little bit dull, so this top coat just goes perfect for this custom. You can really see the difference right there. 
with the top coat completely dry, we can give Toothless his eyes. I'm using a really pretty green color, reminds me of guacamole or an avocado. And I'm gonna give Toothless some eyes that are similar to the shape of Princess Luna's. So let's go in and just put in the basic eye shape right now. And I'm gonna use three, maybe even four coats of paint for that because it's gonna be a little bit hard to cover the black with the light green. Now I've added some yellow to the green and I'm just going to create the general shape for Toothless's pupil, the black area of his eye, because I want the black area to have just a little bit of bright yellow around it, just to give the eye some depth and really make it look cool and make it pop. Switching over to black acrylic paint now, let's give Toothless a pupil. I'm gonna make it really big because I like the really big eyes. They just look so nice and sweet and gentle let's give him two light reflections one big one up here at the corner and a smaller one down below and i'm just using my nail dotting tools for that part a toothless's head is almost done we're just going to give him a little bit of extra detail to make his skin look lumpy and bumpy just like dragon scales i'm using black sugru for this step and i'm just making these little teeny tiny balls out of black sugru all different kinds of sizes and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these little balls of sugru and press them right onto toothless's head to create some little lumps and bumps to give the effect of dragon scales on his head how awesome does this look and just using all those different sizes and shapes it doesn't have to be perfect they don't have to be perfect circles it's really gonna make this look so awesome so let's put some right on his nose around his eyes and behind his ears to make these details pop on his body let's cover all of these little spots with a glossy top coat so that it really contrasts with the matte top coat that we used for the body and the head that was it for toothless's head let's get started on toothless's body so this is luna's original body and here are her wings they're rounded but toothless's are more like concave they go in and they're a little bit sharper so i had the idea that we could just kind of cut the tips of the original pony wings to make them look a little bit more like toothlesses but my idea was not working that was so hard to try and use that exacto knife so i've switched over to scissors and then we can use the exacto knife to clean up the lines and the edges but it is so much easier using these scissors to cut the bulk of the wing tips off. How cool does this look? They look so much more like Toothless's wings, nice and pointy, and you can see the difference between the original wings in the back. With both wings trimmed down, we can cover the entire body with three coats of our custom Toothless color and then one coat of the matte top coat now let's go in with some strings of sugru and lay them across the wings from the center all the way to the tips on the points of the wing right there this is really gonna make it look like toothless's wings they remind me a lot of bat wings they kind of have like little veins coming right down the center it just looks really awesome and then we'll use the sugru trick of the little balls to give toothless the texture along his legs let's cover all the sugru with a clear top coat and put our pony together here is our custom toothless pony he is so awesome those custom wings that we created look so cool totally look like toothlesses now if you notice toothless did get a regular my little pony tail made out of hair and i decided to use black with a streak of red because it reminded me of the custom tail fin that hiccup made for toothless how awesome Awesome. does it look now if you make this custom you could always just have the tail solid black if you don't like the streak of red but i really love that pop of color 
If you want to know how I gave this pony a tail, go and check out one of my past videos of another larger pony like the custom Beast Pony or the custom Belle from Beauty and the Beast Pony. Those two are about the same size and I used the same method to give Tootless his tail. Now, which How to Train a Dragon character would you like to see ponified next? Let me know your choice down in the comments below. Low. I hope that you have enjoyed this custom pony tutorial. If you use it to make your own toothless pony, I would love to see it. So send me a picture on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, little pandas. Until next time, bye! You can follow me online to get the latest news and updates like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Collector. Wanna mail me something? Guess what? You can. Mail it to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.